Applications of differentiation. Well, in this video, we are going to focus on second derivatives. You will find this on page 283 in the Namibia AES level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Second derivatives. If we differentiate the function y equals fx with respect to x, we obtain dy by dx or f dash x and it's called the first derivative of y with respect to x. If we then differentiate dy by dx with respect to x, we obtain dy by dx, d, so it's actually multiplying 2, so it's d over dx by dy by dx, which is usually written as d squared y and then dx squared, or f and then 2 dash x. This is called the second derivative of y with respect to x. Let's look at an example. If y is this, find the first derivative and then the second derivative. Okay, so we differentiate, we get 3x squared plus 4x minus 3. So it's a quadratic function. But now we differentiate again. Okay, now just take note, it's a technical thing. You write the square with the d and you write the square with the x. Okay, so it's almost cross over cross. Okay, so in this case it's 6x plus 4. And then this one, okay, try this one. Now this is just the chain rule, so bring it up. Uh, let's do the outside, so we are multiplying to get the outside. Don't forget to multiply by the inside. If we differentiate the inside, we get this. And then we're going for the second derivative, uh, which we use the chain rule again. So we multiply, we subtract 1, we times 3, and this is our final answer. Okay. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number 1. It's going to get a better color. Number one, oh, let's take it very, very easy. And then we can do, uh, and when we, then we can do f. And then two, I want you to move it up a little bit. And there we can do a few challenging ones. C and D. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Try now 25. Number one, A. So it's with the first derivative and then the second one. So let's start. This is a very, very easy one. Just look at your way of writing. Very important. So it's dy by dx is equal to 12x squared. Okay, that's my first one. And then we go for the second one. So remember, d, d squared y by dx squared. That's indicating the second one. And that will be 24x. And that's my final answer. Okay. And then we go to number f. So y is equal to 4x minus 2. And that will give me 4x minus 2 to the power of half. Okay. Now we go into... So it's dy by dx. This is the first derivative. Okay, we do the chain rule. So we multiply. We first differentiate the outside. Write the in, inside as it is. Subtract 1. So remember, it's a half minus 1. So it's going to give you minus a half. Then don't forget to multiply with the differentiating the inside of the bracket. Okay. And that's going to give you 2. And if I take it down, it's going to give me an answer of, okay, let's just see. Okay, I mean, that is 4. So this is going to give me the answer of 2. And then, I can leave it first like this. I think it's better, but it's all right. We can use it again. So 2, and then it's going down. So it's going to be 4x minus 2. But I can leave it like this because I'm going to go now for my second derivative. 
and then my second derivative, don't forget, it's square and then y and then just a d and then x squared. Okay, it's very important in this level that you look at the way of writing and that you indicate things correctly. So it's in all the levels important, but it's so much more in this level because this is formal mathematics. Okay, so um, let's work with that one. Okay, so if, if we differentiate, so we are going to say it's going to be 2, I'm just going to write it out, negative half, and then it's going to be 4x minus 2, and then don't forget that it will be negative for half minus 2 over 2, which is negative 3 over 2. Okay, so it's that negative 3 over 2, and then I multiply by, I differentiate by 4. Okay, now I can check. We'll now move it up. Okay, so now I will get equals. So this is negative 1, so it will be negative 4. Okay, if I bring it down, let's first bring it down. 4x minus 2. 3 over 2. And that will give me a final answer of negative 4. And then it will be... There's my root. Okay. So it's 4x. Oh, I have to move it up a little bit. 4x. Uh, minus 2. And I can put it like this. It's almost like. And then the 3 is there. And there's the square root because that was the 2. Okay, and that will be my second derivative. Okay, that's number 1. Let's move to number 2. Okay, number two, and now it's just the formulas or the functions that's a little bit more complicated, so just focus on that. But it's always, you must know your rules very well of differentiation. It's very, very important. We don't like a root, so what we do, before we differentiate, we get rid of the root first, and this, I'll show you now. So, okay, I could have even shown you this. So this was x to a half, but don't forget that it's for this one and for this one. So it's actually meaning 4x3, x to the half, minus x, x to a half. Okay, and that will give me, okay, so this is going to 3 minus a half, so it's going to be 4x, okay, it's going to be 2 and a half, Minus, so this is 1 minus a half, so it's x, okay, 1 minus a half, and that will just be a half. Okay. And now I'm going to differentiate. You can make this 5 over 2 also. So if I differentiate my first one, first derivative, okay, so this is going to be 2.5 times 4, which is going to give me 10 and then it's 2 and a half minus 1 so it's going to be 1 and a half this is going to be a half and then don't forget it's a half minus 1 so it's going to be negative a half so this is going to be my first first derivative um, I can put it back in the root, or I can just leave it like this. I think so. Um, I'm going to leave it like this for my first. Um, I, I'm just going to show you, but I'm going to continue with this step. If you want to put it back, then remember it was 3 over 2. So it's x to the power of 3, there's the 2, and then minus 1 over square root x. And then don't forget your 2 there. Oh, now that... That one is not so clear. So let's rather do it like this. Okay. So that's my final answer. But continue with this one. Otherwise you have to re-take it back to this one. 
So if I go for my second derivative, I'm going to multiply again. So now it's going to be 1.5 times that 10, and that's going to give me 15. And remember, it's one and a half minus one, so it's just a half. Okay, and now this is going to be negative 10, so it's going to become a positive, and it's going to be a quarter, and it's going to be x, and now it's negative half minus one, so it's minus three over two. Okay, and that is going to be, I can finalize it further, and say 15, and I make it the square root of x, uh, plus 1 over 4, and it's square root of x, and it's 3, and that's a square root. That's my final answer. Okay, that's 2c. Let's go for d. So, if x is equal to negative 15 over 2, okay, it's a long one, okay, so let's make it like this, 2x minus 1, and that's a 3, okay, so first get it ready for differentiation, so make it negative 15, make a bracket, so it's 2x minus 1, and this will be then 1 third. But remember, it's coming up, so it's negative one-third. Okay. Now I'm going to differentiate. Remember your chain rule. So this is my first derivative. So this is going to be negative a third multiply negative 15, and that is going to just give me a 5. So first the outside. So don't forget, it's minus 1 over 3, minus 1, or minus 3 over 3. So it's minus 4 over 3. Then don't forget to multiply with the differentiating the inside of the bracket. And that will then give me 10. And I can continue. I'm, I'm just going to, okay, it's 10. And if I want to take it down, I can take it down. And it's a cube. And it's going to be 2x minus 1, and it's going to be 2, 4. Okay, but remember what I said in the previous one? Let's continue with this step, because that's ready to differentiate. I'm going to move it up a little bit. So if I find my second derivative, working with this step, then it's easy. I'm just going to write it out just to make it a bit more clear. So this now I'm just going to show you. So now it's going to be negative 4 over 3 minus 3 over 3, which will give me negative 7 over 3. And don't forget... Again, to multiply with the differentiating the inside of the bracket. And that's just 2. Okay, and now I'm just going to put it like that, like I just see what's happening here. So this is going to become negative 20 times 2, so that's going to be negative 40, divide by 3. Now let's just see. Um, the 40, 5 times 4. I'm just checking quickly something. Um, five. I'm just checking quickly because something looks different now. Okay, so it's going to be five, and I multiply by negative four over three. So it's negative twenty, and I get not eighty. I get forty, and I just multiply it by that two. Just want to see if I was doing it correct there. Oh, I see. I see what was my mistake. Sorry, I could see from my working there's a mistake, so I was just checking, checking, checking. Okay, 
I worked with this one, but don't forget that that one was, and I'm just going to correct it here, and maybe you saw the mistake. Sometimes you just have to, that should have been 10. Okay. And now it will be negative 80 over 3, because that's negative 40 times 2 is negative 80 over 3. And that is going to give me then that 2x minus 1 minus 7 over 3. If I move it up a little bit, and I can rearrange it a little bit, I will say negative 80. There's my 3. Okay, there's my root. Don't forget it's 3. And that's 2x minus 1, and that will be to the power of 7. Okay, and that is my second derivative. So be careful. If you worked with this step, just make sure that it's totally simplified. Because in this case, I was first, my mistake was I was working with this and I forgot about that too. So just make rather write it as a single. So basically, what I'm trying to say to you here is. Rather, before you go to this step, just rather write it as, as 10 2x minus 1 minus 4 over 3. Because then you should not make that mistake there. Okay, and that's how you find the second derivative.